Podcast. Hello, and this is going to be a movie review for Star Trek Into Darkness, which is the sequel to the reboot Star Trek. Uh, it took me a while to uh, make this one. I wanted to find something Star Trek that wasn't movie, um, just like the trailer shown over and stuff. So I had to find a, uh, the, this is a demo of Star Trek DAC. The demo can be found on the PS3, but not the uh, Xbox. Both games are on both systems. It's ten bucks. This game is kind of like a how can I say Asteroid? Uh, is it Asteroid? Yeah, Asteroid. Uh, Geometry Wars. Kind of like that stuff. That would remind me of playing when I played this. To get the five minutes of footage I needed and stuff. But that that's a little bit about this. But now it's back to the review. It took me a while because one, I had to get, I wanted to get some time off work to see it, and then two, money. And I also want to see Rapid Con, which is that. This is going to have spoilers. I put that in the description and in the uh, title, too, that this is going to be spoilers. You, you don't find out for a little bit into the movie that the main villain is Khan. But I thought they did a great job with that, too, because you don't know if he's going to be a villain, per se, because of developments with the head of uh, Starfleet developing like a... Uh, what is it? I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a starship that looked like the Enterprise D, which is next generation. It's huge compared to the Enterprise in this movie, but it's an armored, military version of it because of the events of what happened to Vulcan, because this is an alternate universe still. But eventually, you find out Khan really just wants that ship for his people and all that stuff, because Khan is a genetically enhanced human and that was in cryo sleep and they woke up. They use, and uh, they used to build this humongous starship with minimal crew, but armed to the teeth. But, back to the, this this movie, if you like the first one, you're going to love this one. It has a lot of similarities to Rapacon, and some differences. I'm not going to go too much in detail, but they even have some of the one-liners and all that stuff. Probably, you know, reference to that J.J. Ambrose did a real good job. And... As those of you know me, I am a big Star Wars fan. And you're like, why are you doing Star Trek? Well, because I'm a science fiction fan, first and foremost. I love science fiction. I'm a like, big Halo guy. I love reading the Halo stuff. I can't wait for the Halo TV thing. That's about the only thing I like about Xbox One was the Halo TV show. But, back to this. This movie is a must-see. As a matter of fact, I want to go see it again. I've seen it in regular 2D. You can see it in 3D on a flat screen. And also a 3D iMac. Depending on where you are, I have actually access to all three of those in the box. I ended up seeing it on 2D. Money's tight. But like I said, it, it's either way you uh, you want to see it, it, that's cool. This demo, again, it, like I said, <laughs> I'm just looking at this, it just reminds me way too much of like Space Invader, no asteroid. <laughs> just flying around in Geometry Wars. I do much better than this than really nice Geometry Wars. The movie's got great twist turns. Of course, with my wife there, I have to answer everything instead of enjoy the movie that time. But hey, I had a poker chat about her on YouTube. And on um, that note, I'm just going to let you know I'm hoping for a third one. The third one would be great. Again, because the first one came out in 2009 to 2013, four years. So, you know what? The third one might not be directed by him, by J.J. Amber, because we saw the movie throughout two years. We'll see. Maybe it'll be another four years who does it in between and stuff. That'd be cool. But I like the way they went. Because oh, I can wrap Kong with Spock guys. Yeah, like I said, spoilers. Kurt died. But it doesn't take an extra movie to bring back Kurt like it did Spock in the original movies. You know, search for Spock. Well, Spock comes back to life in the Genesis project. They just use Rat uh Con for which they gave a hint of that in the beginning of the movie that his blood could steal people, and then eventually you find out he didn't bring it back to the dead. Like I said, genetic engineering. Which is funny because it's like from 300 years prior to this. Seriously, if they can make that out of humans, then why do you start to scare people? Khan was like crazy brilliant and also like wanting to rule the universe and all that stuff. But besides that, I mean, he helped build ship and all that like I said and you get one animal you don't know and the animal star which I can't remember the actress name but like I said five star movie go see it see it again 
Thanks for watching, and this demo's about over, and thank you again. Rate and like.